Last lecture, we talked about this problem where you have a roller coaster which starts at position A and goes to position B. Uh, and we were trying to figure out if it makes it to position C. All right. It's for the conservation of energy. All right. Just by looking at this picture, we know that this roller coaster here. Let me make it a full screen. All right. So this roller coaster here is at height 5 meters. So if we consider this height here to be 0. Okay. So we know it makes it to height b point b okay, because uh it has some kinetic energy and potential energy at point a and it makes it to point b so if you look at the total mechanical energy at a equals to energy at b which is kinetic energy at a plus potential energy at a equals to kinetic energy at b plus potential energy at b since the height at b is zero potential energy is zero anything Everything that was in the form of kinetic and potential at point A has been converted in the form of kinetic energy at point B. There is no potential energy at that point. So if you put that into equation, one half mass VA squared plus mg height A equals to one half mvb squared. We are supposed to find velocity at point B. So mass cancels out. So if you multiply both sides by 2, 2, sorry, if you multiply both sides by 2, you get VA squared equals to 2GHA, which is equals to VB squared. So VB equals to square root of, square root of uh, VA squared plus 2G height a if you plug in the values uh, va is given which is five meters per second height a is uh, five meters so you get velocity at b approximately 11.1 meters per second all right now the next one the question is does the car reach point c yeah for the car to make it to point c the energy at a the total energy at A should be equal to energy at C. If it has that much amount of energy and a frictionless surface, it would make it to point C. But we don't know that. So energy, for that to happen, energy at A has to be equal to energy at B equals to energy at C. Okay? But we don't know. We know for sure that energy at B, A equals to energy at B. So let's calculate the energy at B and energy at C. Okay? The minimum energy required to be at c is let's say it gets to point c and it stops okay that means there's no uh, velocity at point c so if that happens so energy at b is just the kinetic energy at b which is one half mvb squared we know the so i'm gonna give the mass of the car to be 100 kilograms giving that value i get energy to be 6150 joules Okay, which is 6.15 times 10 to the power 3 joules. So energy at C, okay, let's say it gets to point C and it stops. Okay, that means there's no kinetic energy. Everything is at that point is in the form of potential. Let's say it makes it to that point. Okay, so that is mg height C, which is 100 times 9.8 times height C as 8. So that is 7840 joules. So it requires... 77.84 times 10 to the power 3 joules to make it to that point which this card does not have so it will not make it to that point okay so let's say if it had started with we can go in the reverse direction let's say this card starts from rest at point c and goes to point a and goes to point sorry point b and point a Okay, depending on that, we can find the velocity at point B. I would like you to try this problem again, starting from rest at point C, finding this 
find the speed at B and then find the speed when it gets to point A.